Guys, AC here. How are you doing? Welcome to another video. This time I've got a rather inexpensive clone of Boss Bottled. Now Boss Bottled, everybody smelt it, everybody knows about it. It's one of the most uh, pleasant, uh, one of the most easy to wear fragrances, yeah? at least in 1998. The creator of this fragrance was um, Anik Minado, I believe. She is one of those amazing uh, perfumers, guys. She's created Boucheron Jaipur. She's created Bois de Ajan. Those two fragrances I rank very highly. Now this fragrance is a very simple fragrance, guys. It contains notes of vanilla, green apple, and uh, cinnamon. It also has fruity and lemony notes. For example, it's got plum. It's got lemony notes like uh, bergamot and lemon. It also has some very manly notes like oak moss, oak tree, um, sandalwood, and also has mahogany. Now, I don't get any of that. All I get is a very festive, easy to wear fragrance, which is neither gourmand nor woody. It's somewhere in the middle, but extremely pleasant. In fact, I have at least got at least six bottles since 1998. Yeah. Um, Warmest to hell. Right now, I found a clone. There are many clones of this, by the way. There's a clone by Adidas called Victory League, which is very similar to Boss Bottled. There's another one by Zara, which is Green Bottle Summer something. That's a, that's a clone. But I have discovered a clone by accident because I was sent this as a gift with another purchase I made, and it's even cheaper than the Zara and um, the Adidas bottle, and it lasts longer than Boss Bottled itself. It's by a UK based company called Iman. I M A N and the bottle is called Boss Bottled but the label looks like Ego Boss number one. Accidental discovery but very pleased. This thing uh, off the bottle smells very synthetic yeah but once you apply it I've applied one and a half hours and uh, it's an exact copy of the dry down. Yeah. In fact, the new version of Boss Bottle, which I last smelled in 2012, I believe, they don't last as long as the old bottles. Uh, and, you know, longevity with Boss Bottle used to be always sketchy. Sometimes I would get four hours, sometimes I would get six hours. It depended. But it never gave, it never gave me the performance that I craved or desired, but the scent is absolutely fabulous. Beautiful smell. So, how does this one smell? See, so, yeah, I've given it two full wears. It's an oil, so all I do is I apply it here where the, where the skin is the thinnest and my ear lobes. That's about it. Sometimes I might go side of the neck where the skin is very thin. Oils tend to perform very well under your shirt, especially if they're good quality oils. You rub it under your shirt, just put your shirt on and the body heat and the shirt, sorry, the air trap between the shirt and your body and the body heat creates that nice little sillage. Very, very good performance. Smell, all you get is green apple, very festive type of um, vanilla and cinnamon, and some woody notes to just act as a fixative. But the scent is very, very close to the dry down of Boss Bottled, and it costs nothing really. So if you go to eBay and look for Iman bottles, you can you have the option to buy four bottles for £10. So that makes it like two pounds fifty so I don't think you can find a cheaper clone of Boss Bottled so <clears throat> give it a shot guys very very good option very good um, in terms of performance I'm getting about six hours a good solid sillage and more than 12 hours under my shirt yeah as I said oils do very well under the shirt you know I quite like such fragrances because not too long ago I found a two pound clone of Epic Man it's called Epic Maze it's on my channel do check it out you know, for two pounds you can get something which lasts a long time and smells like Epic Man or Hugo Boss Bottled. Can't go wrong. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Take care. Bye-bye.